On December 27th, 2019, we published a video in which we made some astrological predictions for 2020. We had focused particularly on the conjunctions of the three slow-moving planets Pluto, Saturn, and Jupiter, which have significantly shaped the year 2020. In this video, you will learn to what extent were we accurate and how you can classify last year's events from an astrological point of view. Brotherhood of the Eternal Light Teaching the Western Mysteries Welcome to your channel on Kabbalah, the Western Mystery Tradition and Kabbalistic Astrology. Astrological Review of the Year 2020 the central themes of 2020 were the coronavirus pandemic and the U.S. election. Events like the coronavirus outbreak cannot be predicted with astrology, of course, just as little as an x-ray can tell you whether someone has a cold, because that is not what it is designed for. However, x-rays can show broken bones, and horoscopes and astrological predictions show the astrological impacts and their relationships to each other. How these express themselves in concrete material terms cannot be predicted exactly with astrology, but the astrological quality of time can be described precisely and applied to people or societies and to events. We have done this last year, and now we look at whether or not we were accurate. You can find the link to the video of our astrological prediction of 2020 in the description. Let's start directly with coronavirus. As we shall see, we correctly predicted all the qualities that coronavirus brought about. Mm, oh. We had focused on Jupiter, Saturn, Pluto as influencing factors for 2020. And we had predicted a year that would be characterized by the combination of fanaticism, Pluto, restriction, Saturn, and change of world views and the resulting social rules, Jupiter. And this is what we experience in the world. Fanaticism, Pluto, and dealing with coronavirus as well as in the US elections. Restrictions, Saturn, especially regarding coronavirus, as well as ambition, Saturn and Capricorn. For example, and lowering the numbers of infections and the competition for the fastest development of a vaccine, as well as the importance and impact of laws in their underlying worldview, Jupiter. We also find the impact of these astrological influences in the Black Lives Matter movement and in the reform of the national security law in Hong Kong. Let us look in detail at our former prediction for the Pluto-Saturn conjunction of January 12th, 2020 in Capricorn. Pluto conjunct Saturn means that the astrological principle of destiny, Saturn, merges with the principle of radicalism, Pluto. This may express itself as a fateful commotion, Saturn, of idealistic striving, Pluto, and concentration on the essence, Saturn, of the idealistic and uncompromising striving, Pluto. The ideals are realized with discipline, seriousness and radicalism. The superfluous will be cut off, Saturn. The ideals are implemented concretely and purposefully. Coronavirus has affected the whole world and in some cases we have also seen radicalism and fanaticism, Pluto, in dealing with COVID-19. The coronavirus pandemic became apparent in its extent in January. The US presidential election, which had dragged on throughout the year, also showed these characteristics we had predicted very clearly. The worldview with its values, Jupiter, of the individual protagonists were shaped, among other things, by Trump's attempts of election fraud, abuse of power, and unwillingness to accept election results, and partly also by radicalism and fanaticism, Pluto. We also find here the interplay between ambition, Capricorn, and limitation, Saturn, in relation to the Trump administration, which has occupied the Republican Party internally in 2020. And long before it happened, we had addressed the handling of the election results by Trump. The keywords of 2020 were, among other things, the Trump-influenced fake news in relation to the media and the term fact-check in relation to Trump. 
In addition, there was Stop the Steal, an election fraud accusation campaign already started in April at the time of the first Jupiter-Pluto conjunction, which, as has been proven in the meantime, lacked any real basis. So we were right. Huh? Hmm. In detail, in our prognosis, we had also said the following about the Pluto-Saturn conjunction on January 12th. Pluto conjunct Saturn means that the astrological principle of destiny, Saturn, merges with the principle of radicalism, Pluto. This conjunction is often seen as an indicator of wars or revolutions, because there is a tendency to deal violently with existing conflicts. Well, in Capricorn the planets are not bad, Saturn is even in its domicile. We can therefore also derive positive interpretations. What could we observe in this regard for January 2020? Iran-US relations On January 1, 2020, pro-Iran Iraqis attacked the American embassy in Baghdad. During the night of January 2nd to the 3rd, the Americans killed General Qasim Soleimani, a very influential and popular Irani military man. In the following days, the U.S. and Iran threatened each other and narrowly avoided a war. North Korea On January 1st, Kim Jong-un promised shocking action against the U.S. to compensate for the pain that the North Korean people have suffered so far and for the previous restrictions on development. He also announced that North Korea would soon announce a new strategic weapon. There were indeed open conflicts during the Saturn-Pluto conjunction period, which fortunately did not escalate into war. Coronavirus On December 31st, 2019, the Chinese city of Wuhan officially reported a new viral lung disease, but excluded human-to-human -human transmission. A day earlier, however, Chinese physician and whistleblower Li Wenliang had warned of an outbreak of the coronavirus. Government documents later revealed that more than 180 people had been affected as early as December 27th, and as many as at least 266 by the end of the year. At the beginning of the year, there had been 381 infections, which were obscure at the time, that were not made public. While the time quality of the Saturn-Pluto conjunction is still building up and condensing, we see here already, exemplarily, the idealistic striving for the best Pluto of the Dr. Li Wen Yang, namely to warn early on of the danger of infection by the virus, in contrast to the discipline, seriousness, and radicalism with which the political ideals of the state are implemented by its authorities by muzzling Li and other doctors. Yet the conjunction in itself is not even unfavorable here, but on the contrary, for Pluto is neutral in Capricorn, and Saturn even in its rulership. However, the initial mentally concealing tactics of the Chinese state are in themselves already negative, namely much too restrictive, Saturn, almost radically restrictive, Pluto so that the situation is at first conceivably unfavorable until the quality of time asserts itself and can show itself. For the doctors around Li, who had nevertheless continued their research uncompromisingly and idealistically, Pluto, as well as disciplined, Saturn, were rehabilitated at the end of January, so here, with delay, the positive side of the conjunction shows up after all. This may express itself as a fateful commotion, Saturn, of idealistic striving, Pluto, and concentration on the essence, Saturn, of the idealistic and uncompromising striving, Pluto. The ideals are realized with discipline, seriousness and radicalism. With Saturn and Pluto, we had predicted a fateful commotion, and this indeed happened. A commotion not only of China, but of the whole world started from here, and it became apparent from approximately the exact conjunction of January 12th. The Thai Ministry of Health announced on January 13th, 2020, that the new virus was detected in Thailand with a traveler from Wuhan. 
A similar case was reported from Japan on January 15th, and there was a case in South Korea on January 20th. Experts estimated on January 17, 2020 that there were about 1,700 people infected in Wuhan and illnesses among hospital staff made it clear that human-to-human -human transmission was possible, which was confirmed by Chinese authorities on January 20, 2020. Despite China's serious mistakes at the start of the pandemic, the country was acknowledged by the World Health Organization in February as having undertaken possibly the most ambitious, agile, and aggressive effort at disease control in human history. This was because the number of new infections had been contained very quickly, which speaks to the quality of time we have predicted that ideals will be implemented with discipline, seriousness, and radicalism. In our prognosis, we said, The superfluous will be cut off, certain. The ideals are implemented concretely and purposefully. What we observed January 2020. Australia. From January 8th to the 12th, 10,000 wild camels had to be regrettably shot in Australia because the camels were taking up too much of the scarce water resources while Australia was suffering from a severe drought and particularly intense brush fires. The killing of the camels, which was necessary from the Australian's point of view, also fits very aptly with this quality of time. Just like the lockdowns and various measures implemented around the world against the pandemic. On January 27th, the virus arrived in Germany, first in Bavaria, in February and March also in other federal states. In March, the first deaths occurred in Germany, and from March 16th, the first lockdown including entry bans and border controls. Schools and daycare centers were closed. From March 22nd, there were further restrictions in Germany, but not everyone complied. The USA decided on a 30-day entry ban for Europeans. More and more countries were affected. Italy was hit especially hard. Cities were isolated. There were further lockdowns. The aim of the measures was to slow down the spread of the virus. In other words, to flatten the curve and thus gain time. In England, Italy, and other countries, the weaknesses of healthcare systems that had been neglected for years were revealed in sometimes dramatic ways. In addition, there was a lack of protective masks and other equipment to deal with the pandemic. Let's move on to the USA. Thus on 12th of January, not only fate and discipline, Saturn, and the idealistic striving and determination of Pluto are united, but also the expression of the essence or purpose of a nation, Sun, and the truthfulness or sincerity of thought and communication, Mercury, are colored by Capricorn, thus by ambition and striving for achievement. This is a clear and unambiguous fourfold constellation that could develop much power for a positive ethical change. Maybe the impeachment could lead to a dramatic turning point, which is what many hope for, since Trump has already challenged fate far too often. We see these qualities using the USA as an example. In the impeachment proceedings against Donald Trump, the necessary final steps were taken in the period around the conjunction, namely from January 10th to January 15th, to hand over the impeachment to the Senate. We here see the fulfillment of what we said in our prognosis. Not only fate and discipline, Saturn, and the idealistic striving and determination of Pluto are united, but also the expression of the essence or purpose of a nation, Sun, and the truthfulness or sincerity of thought and communication, Mercury, are colored by Capricorn, thus by ambition and striving for achievement. This is a clear and unambiguous fourfold constellation that could develop much power for a positive ethical change. These impeachment proceedings were not initiated lightly. It was rejected in February 2020 for political reasons by the majority of the ruling Republicans in the Senate, but that was predictable. However, it did not refute the accusation itself. During the production of this video, a second impeachment trial against the now former president is underway, unprecedented in American history. 
Meanwhile, the time quality of 2020 was changing as we approached the three Jupiter-Pluto conjunctions of 2020. On April 5th, Mercury is in conjunction with Neptune in Pisces, the sign of devotion and turning inward. Mercury is in exile and in fall there, which means thinking and communication, Mercury, express themselves unfavorably, that is, by dishonesty, mendacity or confused thinking. Or a loss of reality may occur, the problem of Pisces. The Pluto-Jupiter conjunction in Capricorn on April 5th, 2020. Significant events that occurred during the effective period of the Jupiter-Pluto conjunction are as follows. Coronavirus. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson had to be treated in an intensive care unit from April 6th due to his coronavirus infection, having politically relied on herd immunity beforehand as well as generally reacting late and underestimating the virus. Also in relation to himself, he had initially still carried out his official duties despite his infection in March. In the following months, he was criticized for his many arbitrary changes of course. For example, in the fight against the coronavirus pandemic, which confirms our interpretation. A further confirmation of this with regards to Trump will follow shortly. While Jupiter and Pluto are still in Capricorn, Saturn is at this point in the sign of Aquarius for some time. That is, fate or discipline and self-restraint are colored by liberty and human rights. All the planets are in direct motion that day. U.S. Elections In the case of the Republicans, no candidate was able to prevail against Trump, so that the latter received the overwhelming majority of votes from the party convention delegates in March. The party therefore had to come to terms with its controversial president, Jupiter in its fall, i.e. in their case the Jupiter-Pluto quality was stronger, while in the case of the Democrats the positive qualities of Saturn became visible. More than 20 significant politicians ran for office here. After the first primaries, the field of candidates focused on Senator Bernie Sanders and former Vice President Joe Biden. Sanders conceded in April 2020 and endorsed Biden, who in turn wanted him to participate substantively. In both cases, the course had already been set in April. Although the primaries were still running in June, our 2019 forecast for the USA was... Neptune in Pisces is in its domicile and stands in a positive sense for visions and imagination as well as devotion to the higher spiritual forces. Through this conjunction there could be a short-term unfavorable influence. Dreaminess, illusions, delusional fantasy, Neptune, or loss of reality, Pisces. Maybe Mercury will be able to give an activating impulse to Neptune, which has been in Pisces since 2011. In April, the primary elections will have been running since February and throughout June. There may be developments regarding the candidates in which the great determination of Pluto is combined with the negative aspects of Capricorn, such as stubbornness or greed, or the unfavorable aspects of Jupiter, such as opportunism, narrow-mindedness, blind obedience, hypocrisy or tyranny, to form unfavorable combinations, such as electoral fraud, deception or bribery, or weakness to resist any of those. Also, the unfavorably positioned Mercury may produce effects such as dishonesty, mendacity or loss of reality. USA Starting in April 2020 and throughout the year, Trump repeatedly declared, without citing any definitive evidence, that mail-in voting organized by the U.S. Postal Service would lead to fraud in the 2020 presidential election. However, even shortly before that, he had voted by mail in the March 2020 U.S. presidential primaries, which shows his opportunism in this regard. Democratic voters utilize mail-in voting far more often than Republican voters do. We do not see the electoral fraud we addressed in the 2019 prediction here, but we do see the accusation of electoral fraud, and moreover, unproven and made-up accusations, which confirms our interpretation of the negative aspect of this conjunction, such as deception, loss of reality, and dishonesty. So we were right again. 
As we said in our prognosis, in a conjunction of Pluto and Jupiter, Pluto, signifying radicalism, conjoins with sovereignty and worldviews, Jupiter. The astrological principle of Pluto's uncompromising pursuit of the best and perfection unites with the order, values, and the political and religious views of Jupiter. A transformation takes place which is based on values, or we might witness the destruction and renewal of patterns of belief in order to develop new idealistic worldviews. Thus, new political and or religious or ethical rules will emerge. The old order dies, a new one is born. And this is what happened. Black Lives Matter. On May 25th, African American George Floyd died in the US during an arrest. A video of the violent arrest went viral around the world. Worldwide protests against racism and police violence under the slogan, Black Lives Matter, occurred in the next few days. Parallel to this, an examination of conscious regarding racism took place in many areas. For example, statues from the colonial times were removed in some countries. We also said the following in our prognosis about the Pluto-Jupiter conjunction on April 5th, 2020. In the sign of Capricorn, where Jupiter is in its fall, we can expect the uncompromising search for perfection of Pluto to be expressed by stubborn, ambitious, greedy, selfish or opportunistic values. Possibly also by the abuse of power, or by tyranny and fanaticism. And this is what happened. Hong Kong. On June 30th, Hong Kong's national security law went into effect. The law imposes sentences of up to life imprisonment for acts that endanger Hong Kong's national security, and it applies to everyone worldwide. The punishable acts are now so vast that the law can apply to any form of protest. Since this law went into effect, many residents there have self-censored and politically active groups have disbanded. Pro-democracy literature can no longer be found in Hong Kong stores and libraries. Pluto-Jupiter conjunction in Capricorn on June 30th, 2020. Our prognosis for the USA. The US primary elections have ended and first trends have become visible. Now we will see how the USA deals with it. The time quality is still difficult with Jupiter in its fall and in combination with Pluto's great determination. This may lead to new unpleasant struggles for power and new scandals, or both may continue. Probably we may expect from Trump's side further or even worse problems regarding domestic and foreign affairs, in addition to the already well-known ones, or ones with even worse effects, since the planetary powers are likely to be even more unpredictable because of their retrograde motion. Moreover, Trump could now be under even more pressure because of both impeachment and elections. And he might become even more incalculable and thoughtless towards the end of his presidency than ever before. Several Republican politicians might still fear Trump's backing by the electoral base in the past, which still might hamper the party's renewal. The current astrological constellation will be rather unlikely to help in clarifying this situation. In June 2020, Trump made Louis DeJoy the new Postmaster General of the U.S. Federal Postal Service, who had previously contributed more than $1 million to Trump's election campaign. DeJoy initiated massive austerity measures that came at the expense of fast and reliable mail delivery. Starting in June, many letter sorting machines were also dismantled, although this did not become known until much later. We see how Trump had tried to exert direct influence in this sensitive sector, having already unjustifiably attacked mail-in voting in itself. After all, the impairments and restrictions on the Postal Service primarily affected Democratic voters, since the majority of them vote by absentee ballot. The number of Democratic mail-in voters in 2020 actually increased because of coronavirus, while Republican voters often voted in person despite coronavirus restrictions. DeJoy only postponed his massive austerity measures until after the election in response to significant public pressure to ensure proper mail delivery for the election. 
The Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives, Democrat Nancy Pelosi, even recalled lawmakers from summer break because of it. So our predictions for June 2020 were also true. Pluto-Jupiter conjunction on November 12th, 2020 in Capricorn. Our prediction for the U.S. Will we experience any surprises or surprising revelations on or about November 12th regarding the election or presidential candidates? Will the values of the American people be able to recover a little? How will Trump's electoral base react to the election results and recent developments? I think we can look forward to the future in suspense. Again, we were right. Unfortunately, quite dramatically. Huh? Huh. At the end of October 2020, Trump supporters, some of whom were armed, had intercepted a Democratic campaign bus in Texas with dozens of pickup trucks trying to force it off the highway by ramming it. Trump on this. I love Texas. On November 3rd, the American citizens had elected Joe Biden as the future president, while Trump had challenged many election results of various states without valid reasons because he did not accept the election results and still talked about election fraud, which could never be proven. Because of Trump supporters chanting, stop the vote, the counting of votes had to take place partially under police protection. There were counter demonstrations by Trump's opponents demanding that all votes be counted. There had never been anything like this in the USA before. Also see our special video on the U.S. elections on November 13th, 2020, with more details on this conjunction. On Climate Protection Fridays for Future in 2020, these unsustainable values, Jupiter in Fall and Capricorn, will be joined by Pluto's determination, which may even worsen the conflict. Probably, it will be a difficult year before, hopefully, there will be a turning point with the great conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn on December 21st in 2020, the winter solstice, a turning point which hopefully will bring improvements for all and which I wish for all of us. Indeed, 2020 was a difficult year for the Fridays for Future movement and climate protection. Ironically, because of coronavirus, which did involuntarily relieve the environment to some extent through the lockdowns, but this was unfortunately only an insignificant side effect that did not last long. The public awareness of climate protection in 2020 had effectively come to a standstill, primarily because of coronavirus. Almost at the same time as the elections on November 3rd, the USA was the only country to withdraw from the Paris Climate Agreement, which was further a setback for the achievement of the climate targets. Thus, we were right again. Oh. The Great Conjunction, Saturn and Jupiter, on December 21st, 2020. We said, By the approach of the two planets up to one degree in Capricorn and the following conjunction in Aquarius, we experience the general development and tendency to move from a value system limited to and focused on material values and resources, Capricorn, to ideas which are oriented towards liberal impulses and transpersonal interests. This cycle may well be a defining quality for the next two decades until the next great conjunction. The basic qualities of speed and intellectual agility, as well as independence and its mediating quality, which are assigned to the air element, will therefore be present as overall themes and, in accordance with their nature, will manifest themselves and be experienced as a fateful manifestation in the worldviews of humankind and in the systems of government. We find this course in the events surrounding the U.S. election. Even before the Great Conjunction, on December 5th, only 27 of a total of 249 Republican congressmen recognized Biden's election victory, although he had achieved a clear majority of electoral votes and had received over 7 million more votes than Trump. According to the Washington Post, fear spoke from these numbers. Since Trump still had the party in his grip, we had already addressed this in our prognosis video. Several Republican politicians might still fear Trump's backing by the electoral base in the past, which still might hamper the party's renewal. 
the current astrological constellation will be rather unlikely to help in clarifying this situation. This had also come true. <sighs> the astrological time quality of the Jupiter-Pluto constellations, of the past events with Trump's way of party leadership, his loss of reality, his misinformation and manipulations, among other things he had put elections officials under pressure by telephone during the vote counting, still showed a certain after effect. While with the approaching Great Conjunction, the certainty of a change was building up and a turn towards the ideals of the sign of Aquarius was taking place, towards freedom and greater themes such as transpersonal humanity, a shift that went beyond personal self-interest and which had also become bitterly necessary. Interestingly, Saturn has basically framed 2020 with January Saturn-Pluto conjunction and now with the Great Conjunction with Jupiter, possibly initiating or being an essential step towards the transition into the Aquarian Age. Interestingly, Saturn is the ruler of both Capricorn and Aquarius, and while 2020 had been strongly under the influence of the Capricorn characteristics of ambition and restriction due to the planetary positions, we have now moved into the sign of Aquarius. 2020 had been primarily about restrictions, but from December 2020 onwards, it's about freedoms. Also, the U.S. elections reflect this, with Biden as president, a noticeable relief and a new freedom goes around the world, because now it is again about transpersonal interests and about superior themes with the new President Biden as a great mediator. Biden, by the way, rejoined the Paris Climate Agreement on his first day in office, which is a significant boost for the climate. Again, our predictions turned out to be correct. After all, the Jupiter-Saturn conjunction ultimately also represents taking responsibility, Saturn, for our worldview and values, Jupiter. This aspect of Saturn is sometimes overlooked, and here the great conjunction is only to be seen as a beginning, because America will still be busy for a while with coming to terms with the Trump era. And that is, after all, what a grand conjunction is all about. It initiates a turning point, Fate and power unite. We'll recap briefly. The themes of the conjunctions were Jupiter, worldview and social order and rules. Compare also to Chesed. Saturn, responsibility, seriousness, restrictions, discipline. Pluto, striving for an ideal, radicalism, fanaticism. Conjunctions represent a combination of the planetary principles in question. The major theme of 2020 was the coronavirus pandemic, and no one would doubt that the forces at work were those of the planets in question. If that is not considered an accurate prediction, what is? Oh. We were correct with our predictions and are happy if we can inspire you to look further into Kabbalistic astrology. How did you like it and which prognosis did you find particularly compelling? What do you see in a different way? Compare yourself with our original forecast video. You can see that the astrological meaning in Kabbalistic astrology is very precise and coherent and enables us to make accurate interpretations and predictions. Do you also want to learn astrology and immerse yourself in the language of it? Then sign up for our certified online webinar series with Salomo Balshem and the Astro Team. We have another special treat for you. Soon we will hold a live webinar in which we will take a closer look at Donald Trump's birth chart and interpret it. If you're interested and want to be part of it, subscribe to our newsletter to be informed of the date of this free live webinar. If you like our astrological content, please like the video, and if you are not yet part of the Boel Mystery School YouTube family, click on the subscription button and the bell to be informed about new videos. Thanks for watching, and see you soon!